Our next segment involves Craigslist. Have you considered using it to buy a car? If so, there's some important information you need to know. I recently met with investigator Doug Numbers, who is in the middle of an investigation. Hey Doug, what investigations are underway regarding the Craigslist? Can you give us more detail? Sure, like currently I have several investigations I'm investigating, you know, illegal car dealers on Craigslist. A lot of people are finding a lot of unlicensed dealers, people selling cars on Craigslist that aren't, you know, don't have Maryland dealer's license, but they're selling quite a number of cars. Like this current case I'm working on, I think this guy sold six or seven cars since like March on Craigslist. You can't be selling that many cars in a one year period of time. If you sell three or more in a year, you're considered a dealer. Unlicensed dealers are using Craigslist, we find in guys using out of state credentials like West Virginia dealer tags or um, Indiana dealer tags, um, things like that, where they're, they're getting they're, they're getting dealer licenses, quote unquote, or salesman's licenses from other states who don't really police the system to get them very well. So guys can come in from out of state, get it, and then come here and use it to access auctions that only dealers can get into to buy cars or insurance auctions where they buy wreck cars and they're fixing them up and then they're turning around and selling them on Craigslist. What are some other scams that involve the Craigslist that consumers should be aware of? Um, basically, other scams, you know, if you're selling anything on Craigslist, you know, if somebody's willing to pay you more f than you're selling an item for and say, well, it's just, you know, it's to cover your trouble, send the rest back, you know, just cash the check, yeah, the, I know you're only selling it for $500, but I'm going to send you a check for $2,000, keep an extra 500 for your trouble and send me the other 1000 back. Well, it's obviously a scam. You know, the check's going to be phony or it's going to bounce or it's going to be a fake check. Be aware of also who you potentially, if you're trying to sell something on Craigslist, be aware of who you're dealing with. You may not want to meet at your house. You know, if you're selling a piece of furniture or you're selling your car, you may want to say, I want to meet at the shopping center down the street or something like that. You may not want them coming to your, your private residence and all and everything because you may not know who you're dealing with. Don't give out your bank account information, secure security number, anybody you're dealing with, you know, be, be aware of your financial information, that type of thing. Um, they advertise jobs on Craigslist, so if you're looking for a job, be aware of anybody offering a job where they want to charge you money to try, try to get the job or something. That's obviously, you know, well, you know, it's probably a scam more than likely. Craigslist offers services, like they advertise, you know, automotive services here and all and everything. Well, here in Montgomery County, um, auto repair places have to be licensed, you know, and so, you know, we got all, you know, you know, minor car painter, yes, we're mobile. Well, if that guy's coming into the county and doing the work, he should be, you know, licensed. If you're going to hire somebody off of Craigslist to come do work at your house and all and everything, Maryland requires anybody doing any kind of home improvements and all, any kind of major structural, you know, even outside, you know, if they're just cutting your grass and raking leaves, that's fine. But if they're going to build you a retaining wall and put stone in or something like that, they have to be licensed with the Maryland Home Improvement Commission. So plumbers, you know, this is real plumber, real savings. You know, again, plumbers, gas fitters, that type of stuff, they have to be licensed through the state of Maryland and the county, electricians. So if you're going to hire any kind of services off of Craigslist, you should, you should check the person who you're going to services to see whether they're required to be licensed. If they are, are they licensed? Yes. Any other tips um, that will be helpful as well? Um, you know, are they insured? You know, if somebody comes and does work at your house, falls off a ladder, and, you know, they don't have any insurance, they could come after you for, you know, try to make a claim on your homeowner's insurance or, you know, something like that. Um, you know, here you've got people, you know, advertising jewelry for sale. How do you know this stuff's not stolen <laughs> at all. It may not be, but you may want to consider, you know, if you're buying, be aware if you're buying jewelry in a parking lot somewhere <laughs> off of Craigslist or something like that. The old adage, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, applies here on the internet as well. Thanks, Doug. Great information. Great tips. You're welcome, Joy.